Hello everyone, welcome back to our Microsoft Excel training. So today I'm going to show you how to do function in what tab in Microsoft Excel. In Microsoft Excel, we have many tab. For example, like file, home, insert, draw, pack layout, formula. So those function we call tab function. So in a tab, we have many function inside. So I will pick up one of the function. It is called file, file, fun, uh, file tab. So uh, I will go to file. So let's see what inside in the file. Like most of the Excel uh, like doesn't uh, use it so often, but uh, it also have the important function. You can take the advantage from the function. So let's go to file. Okay, click here. So in the file, we have a group of the function we can see in here the first function is home so in home we can create a new excel we can select any template from the microsoft and you can also search from the online you can see more template like that you can see a lot of template like uh, we have the business template personal planner and tracker list budget chart calendar so we can, if we want to select any template, we can choose one of them. For example, I will show you some template we can take from the Excel, like uh, the file from the online. For example, uh, I want to have the calendar of the year. Okay, let me select this one. This is a template from Excel. I click here. Just create new. So. If you want to uh, have the calendar for any year, we can customize on that. This is the, the year we can customize, you can see. Uh, the 44, we, we have the uh, year two, uh, 2019, but we can customize that year, so we also can have another year. For example, we, this year we have like first month, second month, February, third month, March. Okay, let me move to the other year because currently we are in 2022. So let's jump to 26 because we we almost at the end of the, the year right now. October. Okay, let me move. We just edit on that. Okay, for example, like 23. I just press enter so everything will change according to the calendar like the global calendar so we can see January 2023 February 2026 let's see if uh, the, the calendar is correct okay let's go to the calendar okay let me move to the next year you can see uh, the day the date you can see first, second you can see in here, when uh thirty first you can see in thirty first on Tuesday you can see. Okay, let uh move to some other month. Like for example, match. We just compare that calendar is correct or not. Okay. okay. Click on that. Okay, move to match. You can see the first of match is uh, is on Wednesday. You can see. So we can customize any year we or uh, month we, we can uh, customize. Just click on on here. You can see. Also, we can start from the month for first of all month. One is a January, we can customize because in here we have the formula and to uh, to jump to any year and we can select any year we, we want. So I think it is very useful for us to make a like uh, appointment. We can make appointment for example, we can command on that for any year for on on or any day. So we can save us and make us our template. For example, we can save us. 
to any location and we use for our own render for any uh, day we can just open that itself we can know that what we are going to do the appointment we have some task to do on any specific day okay okay let me close on uh let me uh okay let me go to other template okay let's say uh one is another for example loan summarization schedule okay it's a loan schedule you can customize according to our requirement it is just a template you can see saying it looks like a, a house loan you can see payment debt beginning balance schedules payment extra payment total payment principal interest and us balance cumulative to interest so it's just template we can customize according to our requirement we also have other template you can see we can click on more what about according to calendar when we click on that we have a money calendar template you can see a lot of template so uh, let me go back so i just example one or two to so are you you can play around you can go to chart you can select any template you prefer okay let's move on and then I talk much about that because uh, yeah, we have some uh, uh, tasks to explain to some uh, we have some function to explain so we jump to other function okay let's uh, okay let's move to here that we need for new for open you can see for the open we can open any file uh, same file we can open from the recent file this is a recent you can see so any file we just recently open we just go to recent you can see so i this file i just recently open according to the date so some sometimes we have a file with store with a long path so we don't need to go to for example we go to to i see uh meta or to id for example uh, put here english like that or if of course and also we had to jump to other user for example like that so it's take much time because uh, we also had the function like recent file. We just click on the recent so we can see any file we just recently opened. So we just click on that. We, we can see uh, the file we just opened, recently opened. Sorry. Okay, this is the recent. So we also can search if we don't remember the expression. Uh, we have a long that. We can just search so we can open that we also can open from any uh, file from the folder you can select on that you can okay let's move back for example if i open like i say lesson although it's lamellas open on 25th october okay, click on that can see okay let's move on it's open so we can open from any specific location it is location like one try this pc one try we have to sign in and if pc we can find we can Jump to any like desktop to my document download, I suppose, like that. This is the one drive browse. You can browse to any location from Troy C for any folder. Okay, okay, let's jump to I think that's finished for the open, but jump to info. 
point four is uh, is uh, it's a uh, state for information. So the info we can protect our SF file. It is a function to protect our file. My previous video I already explained how to do the function. Uh, uh, I don't want to explain again and again. So you just go back to my previous video. You can see how it different how we can protect our SF file by using the password and we prevent uh, edit uh, prevent editing from some range or column so we can do on that and we can protect a, a whole workbook file protect a only current sheet you can uh, in here you can see okay uh, I think we let's uh, move to other function that is it function a cell you can it, it for like uh, uh, function here like cell uh, like control s you can see it cell just cell to any location we prefer for example you can cell like to any location just click more and select download to desktop you can save this and let's go to the print function you can see the print function is like that so we can customize the print property quantity something like that it's a printer but some it is a, like the software printer so it doesn't have much function so if you have the actual printer you will create a more function like that you can see in here so you just click on printer property so we can customize for any printer for right now this printer is not available because uh, i'm not in the office so uh, i cannot connect to the printer you can see that uh, like uh, not spawning we try to connect to the printer this is a, a real printer okay let's uh, move okay it's stuck in and let me cancel on that okay so this is a uh, some customization we can print from uh, like number of peg for example peg 1 to peg 2 only or current peg only or one side or two side Oh, this is the paper side you can customize some companies been use A4 some other letter or A3 so you can change according to uh, the paper side okay let's move to other okay okay the share for the share we can see at this it's a far to other people but we have to sign in for example some organization we have the email address so we can sign in here and it will like uh, send the email to other people that we have share the Excel workbook so this function uh, I don't uh, show because um, I don't use my uh, company account to uh, to sign in so you can test by you say if you are in a, on an organization you can see what is it look like okay export is like uh, we can like sell other pdf as other functions for example if i click here you can sell other pdf or the like hps so we can like export to pdf also this one this is, PDF, you can see if I click publish, so what is going on? Okay, let's just click OK. You can see this is the PDF I just export from the SF file. Okay, let's uh, this function is just close, so if we close, they say we close so on it. This account is about the account information, for example, we have the uh, Microsoft Excel license. If we click in here, we can see information about Microsoft Office version or other so like email account register for that license. So I don't uh, want to show my 
uh, this invasion so if uh, you want to see what invasion in here you just click account so you can see your email just your username uh, Microsoft it wasn't okay this is just feedback and we also have the option function you can see in here we have a lot of function available in here I think this one I make uh, I may explain you later about that because it have a long explanation so let's just uh, make another video about that uh, to to explain you because uh, uh, now we already start like over 15 minutes so let's take break so we'll make another video to explain tell about this Excel option this is the default option for the Excel so if you want to open a new Excel and you want everything make default like we can customize the default okay let's uh, close let's finish this video and uh, uh, I will make a new video and upload you can see okay thank you bye bye